Welcome back to another V Brown Bag Build Day video here at Ravello in Israel. Uh, for this video, I have two guests. The unseen guest down here is Shanti. Uh, and uh, you just see a little bit of a nose, so I'm just patting Shanti down here. Uh, this being a, a real startup, uh, pets are welcome, and Shanti here comes and visits. Uh, and she comes every time you're here, Anna. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Um, can you introduce yourself to our, our audience? Sure. Um, so my name is Aina, and I work uh, um, at Travelo here for about six years. Um, and uh, what I do here is I'm one of the team leaders of the backend. We have two of them. So I'm one of the team leaders. Um, yeah, that's it. So the backend is all the things we don't see in the user interface, but that, that are being driven by the requests True. out of that. True. And we particularly wanted to talk about some of the things that happen when we take an application and we actually deploy an application from a blueprint and all of the, the magic that happens underneath to allow that to deploy out to wherever it is we've chosen. And that's one of the things you've been working on pretty hard over the years. Right. So that's like one of the most the main things in my team that we were, were working on. Um, so do you want me to tell you a little bit about yeah. how it works behind the scenes? Yes, indeed. Okay. Um, so what we do when someone publishes uh, an application, mm -hmm. whether it's from a blueprint or just library VMs that they dragged into the canvas, uh, what we do at that point is we, we're basically a virtual cloud provider. We're not a real cloud providers, <laughs> provider. We don't have data centers. So we uh, use the APIs of the real cloud providers, such as Google, Amazon, uh, Bare Metal Cloud, which is now OCI. It's called OCI. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we take a uh, host, which can be bare metal or a virtual VM, a uh, virtual uh, uh, machine. Uh, we take volumes, we take external, uh, external connectivity components for our public IPs that we supply the guests. Right. Um, we build it all together. And on top of it, we install our software, which is both the virtualization, the hypervisor, mm -hmm. and then also the uh, SDN, software the network. And the, the storage and the storage elements, right? Um, and then we configure the actual guests, like the uh, actual specific devices that we were we are asked. What what we have configured in the canvas, but but below those VMs, there is this HVX hypervisor running in often VMs on top of the cloud provider. Right, right. And when I talk about devices, I, I mostly mean like the actual cards, like the actual right down devices. To storage device, right. and network adapter. So, and exactly. So you have different kind of, of devices. If it's a SCSI or if we're talking about uh, IDEs or whatever network or storage devices, we support quite a few, um, quite a big range that we software that we developed here to support mm. uh, most of it. Um, and then we configure it on top of the actual infrastructure that we're we're taking we're given by the cloud. The cloud provider. Yeah, uh, using our own software, uh, and that's pretty much it. So you got a running VM on top of everything. Right. So a collection of, of devices for each, in the same way that any any other hypervisor is is producing that virtual hardware, um, and then you you take. A fairly large cloud instance in order to run my collection of virtual machines. You don't run each one in a separate cloud instance. You actually tend right, to take... Right, we consolidate. Um, is that just that there's a universal larger size, or do you do best fit? Okay, so... Best size fittings? Okay, so we do have some sort of fitting algorithm. Mm -hmm. uh, we calculate the needs of each guest. If it's public IPs or CPU memory, size of the disks... Um, Shanti is just catching the cable here. Yeah, I hope I'm. I'm still being, yeah, heard. Um, so, uh, yeah, so CPUs, memories, and all the technical aspects of the hardware, the right. virtual hardware of the guest, and we combine a few. We t we take uh, a few guests of the same application together because they're most likely be started Talking together to and take and, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and yeah, we, we deploy them on top of a bigger host. Right. And multiple hosts for very large. We, we talk about um, one of your clients who uses hundreds of virtual machines in the application. That's going to necessarily have multiple of these hosts. Right. Uh, and then you do some things around persisting changes because, of course, the long-term persistent store is on object storage, but the transactional is on block storage. 
Uh, can you talk a little bit about what happens when I shut down sure. my VM? Sure. So what happens there is that behind the scenes, we're taking a snapshot of the state of the guest. Uh, we take a snapshot and we upload it to the uh, S3 or, or whatever Whichever that means. Object storage yeah. we're using. Uh, I had some Hebrew uh, kicking <laughs> in. <laughs> um, so we, we upload it to there and then we remove the, uh, the guest from the host. Once all the guests that were running on that host are are down, we can shut down the host and release all the volumes and the external connectivity yeah. and all that. And uh, yeah, so that's basically the process. Um, you don't reuse those hosts at all. There's no efficiency to be have. Uh, we do reuse them, but only if the application is still up. Okay. For example, if you removed one guest, another guest might come in instead. But if right. you remove, usually people uh, delete or uh, stop, stop the entire the whole... application because mm. the application represents not a da data center, but like but a, a service. Yeah. So usually they all go down together. Um, so that architecture right. matches with that. Well, thank you, Anas. That was really interesting to hear what goes on underneath all of the uh, all of the pieces of the. Um, cloud of clouds, as I, I refer to um, Ravello as being a cloud of clouds. Uh, this has been another of the vBrownBag Build Day videos from the Ravello Build Day. Keep watching for more.